CAI. This stands for Conventional Artificial Insemination. In the following slides, we will discuss the practicalities of conventional artificial insemination. With any type of breeding program, one thing is for certain. Your bore power and heat checking abilities are vital for success. In the following slides, let's take a look at bore power. There are three rules to strong bore power. First, they should be under three years old. Second, very active. And third, in good health. It's important to use active bores with high salivation. Control the bore so that each sow and or gilt has nose-to-nose -nose contact when checking for heat. Our recommendations are one adult bore for every 100 gilts and one adult bore for every 200 sows. Avoid working the bore continuously for more than an hour. An overworked, tired, and or too heavy of a bore do not do a thorough job. Bores become mature at greater than or equal to 11 to 12 months of age. A Michon cross bore will become mature at greater than 5 to 6 months of age. In the following slides, we will take a look at the practicalities of heat checking. Heat checking is vital for any breeding program. It is important to heat check once a day, every day, seven days a week with nose to nose contact. While heat checking, look for signs of estrus and touch each female to see if she accepts pressure. It is very important to not rush this task. Signs to look for are ear popping, sticky mucus, and engorged vulva. The females must be in solid standing heat to breed. There are no exceptions. A common reason for failure is breeding females before they are in true standing heat which will result in discharge and opens. Always allow two hours between bore exposure if moving the female to avoid the refractory state. Have the bores and supplies set up and ready to go before starting the breeding process. In the following slides, we will discuss breeding. Breed with two bores. The first bore is leading the heat checking and insemination, while the second bore is maximizing the stimulation post insemination. Allow nose to nose contact with the bore and ensure she is in solid standing heat. It is very important to never force a breed. Clean the vulva well to maintain good hygiene and to prevent infection. Open the vulva and gently pull down to expose a clean inner vulva. You will want to discard the catheter if it touched any dirty area and keep the insemination area clean and avoid humid environments. Attach the semen bag and clip catheter to the saddle or Hold the semen bag in your hand. Stimulate the sow during insemination by pulling on her flank, rubbing her underline, and putting pressure on her back. It is very important to never squeeze or force semen in. Leave the catheters and saddles on for a few minutes, but remove them if the sows do lay down, and continue to stimulate with the second bore. You can also leave the new bores out to run the row of the just bred sows for at least an hour. 
it is very important to avoid breeding sows in the refractory stage. Control the bores so they do not get too far ahead. And if using lube, store it in the cooler and clean the top off of them each day after breeding or as necessary. And throw them away if it becomes pink or brown. This is an indication of bacteria. So the summary includes bore power, keep track of their age, pay attention to their activity level, and keep them healthy. With heat checking, we want to do this once a day, seven days a week, and only breed females in solid standing heat. These are general recommendations, and we encourage the production staff to follow their farm protocols. Farms should have procedures created and approved by their production management head.